Hi, I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave, and I'm here with my dog, Ray. Ray, can you say hello? <laughs> no, she's got to look away. She's just a diva. What can I say? Um, okay, so got a question yesterday because somebody, well, it was my sister, actually. She brought home two rescues, and one of them was vomiting up some worms. Pretty disgusting. Big, long worms. Probably about six to ten inches long. And why would her dog be doing that? Well, those are probably roundworms. I didn't see them in person, so I can't say for sure, but I assume they're roundworms. And the reason that happens is because while the breeder may have said, and in her case, these were rescues, but you may have been told that your dog was wormed, so why would they still throw up worms? Because the worms had already laid eggs, and when those eggs hatch, that's what you're gonna be seeing the worms that grow from those eggs. So one worming is typically not enough. It depends on the type of worm. With tapeworms, for example, one time is enough for treatment, but those are carried by fleas, so you have to be careful that you get rid of all the fleas that might have tapeworms. But as far as roundworms go, you're gonna need two treatments two weeks apart. If you stretch it to three weeks, then you risk that any of those worms that had grown up from those hatched to eggs have laid even more eggs. So then you would want to do another treatment after that. It depends on the medication that your veterinarian uses and it depends on the type of worms and it depends on what your dog is exposed to as well. Don't be too surprised if your dog is wormed properly and still gets worms because if they're still in the environment, then your dog can still get it. And there are, you know, they'll get reinfected, as we say. There are also other parasites that can affect your dog. So um, things like coccidia. So it's best if you take in a stool sample and let your vet t test it to see what's there. And again, I mean, you might have to do that more than once because one time there might be eggs and one time there might not. With whipworms, for example, you could do five samples and not ever find a whipworm egg, even though your dog's infected. So in cases where you kind of ruled out everything else, your dog has a real soft stool, they might have been exposed to it, then your vet will decide to treat. If all this sounds a little bit confusing, that's okay. Because <laughs> that's why you have a veterinarian that you trust, right? You can go to them, talk to them about what your concerns are, and make sure that the worming's done properly. And then uh, if you still have problems, you can always call them on the phone. So this is Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave. And if your dog vomits up worms, put them in a bag or put them in a jar would be best with some alcohol. Bring them in so that they can be identified and then you can get the proper treatment. All right, have a great day, happy training, and enjoy your dogs. Bye.